Hey guys, <laughs> I feel kind of funny filming today. It's been a minute since I've made a video with like real raw emotion in it. I've only made a couple and publishing those videos is really scary. Um, it's hard to be vulnerable, right? It's hard to show your emotion and to I don't know, let people see such like a deep part of yourself. That can be really, really scary. And I know things that I've shared in the past, even though they were scary, I felt in my heart that by sharing it, it could potentially help someone. And um, that's what I'm hoping for today. That's what I'm hoping for with this video. You guys, life is great. Life is beautiful. I'm so grateful. And even with like the hard, crazy chaos and everything of the stage of life I'm in right now, I am so grateful. I've never really opened up, well I haven't actually ever opened up here on our YouTube channel about um, my anxiety, but you guys, I have really bad anxiety. Um, dang, I didn't wanna cry. I have really, really bad anxiety and sometimes it can be hard to control, but uh, for the most part, I'm really proud of myself. Uh, for how much progress I've made in my mindset and just um, my ability to work through things, I guess. Uh, three years ago, it will be three years in just like 10 days, I think. Three years ago, I was 11 weeks pregnant with Cohen, so 28 years old, 11 weeks pregnant with baby number five and um and i and i almost died you guys i i almost died because of anxiety and stress and i wasn't managing it well at that time and and it literally almost killed me um i ended up having two giant blood clots in both lungs two pulmonary embolisms um, the one in my right lung being incredibly large. Um, drove myself to the emergency room at 3 in the morning. Um, was taken by ambulance immediately to a bigger hospital. Was in the ICU for a few days and then just a normal hospital room for a couple days after that. Couldn't have gotten through any of that without my incredible family. They took care of our home and our children and everything while I was in the hospital. but. You guys, mental health is so important. <laughs> it's so important and it's so, it's so easy to feel alone in, in illnesses and in struggles. It, it can be so easy to feel alone in those things. And today is kind of a hard day for me. I, um, sometimes I just have days that are really hard to manage my feelings and my thoughts and today's one of those days. But I wanted to tell you guys that if you are struggling with something like this, you're not alone. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> I, um, I just really want you guys to know that. You're not alone. And then I also want you to know if you are someone who doesn't struggle with things like this, I know that you have things you struggle with in your life. Everyone does. Everyone has something that is a hardship or a trial or something that they have to work on every single day. And um, this ha just happens to be my thing. And um, it's okay because I believe in God and I believe that he never gives us things that are too hard for us to handle. And the things he gives us in life to experience are to help us grow and to help us become better people. And I'm grateful, you guys. Even though some of my experiences have been really hard, I'm, I'm grateful for them because I have learned and grown from every single thing I've experienced. Um, but if you don't struggle with something like this, um, maybe just be a little more kind. <laughs> um, because even those people who you see smiling every day, they could be struggling really bad and you would never know about it. Um, one of my favorite quotes, and my sister actually says this all the time, is everyone you know is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. And it's so true. Every single person, you guys, even the people who look like their life is just perfect and everything is 
incredible all the time, I, I promise that there's things that they struggle with and that they are continually working on every single day. Um, but I just wanted, this is long <laughs> and drawn out, but I just want to say you're not alone and that there's hope and that whatever it is you're struggling with, those weaknesses can become your strengths. Um, and all you have to do is put in the time and the work and, and take care of yourself. Really take care of yourself, you guys. Um, it's important. And I, that's something that I tell my kids all the time and something that I'm very open with them about. But I just want you guys to know that I love you. I'm so stinking grateful for you. And yeah, sorry for <laughs> getting really vulnerable today, but just felt like I needed to share that today. And honestly, I wasn't really in the mindset to just be like happy and upbeat out of the get go on camera today. But just having this conversation here right now and saying those things I just said, I already feel a hundred times better. So thank you for listening. And I hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, you guys, Koei and I, say hi, Koei. You're getting a treat? <laughs> a red treat. Cohen and I are running some errands today. So we are headed off to a couple stores. I'm really excited. I've got to get a dress, you guys. It's been since way before the virus and lockdowns that I've gotten a new dress. And Cody and I are taking pictures and video of a wedding tomorrow. So I need a dress. Cody, do you want to go help mommy pick out a dress? Yep. <laughs> Do you want to go help mommy pick out a dress? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Well, now I'm going to be emotional Mom. again. What, baby? We will watch a movie. Okay, we can watch a movie. One second, okay? I'm going to be emotional again in today's video, but for a different reason. I ran over here as fast as I could um, to these outlets before they closed. Cody had to work late. And my sweet son, Coda, offered to babysit. Luckily, I called my mom and everything worked out fine. But the outlets over here in Park City, they're still closing at 7 p.m. They started doing that um, with the lockdowns and everything. And I guess they've just decided to keep that schedule through the end of the year. So I didn't know that. I walked up to the door. I had the store in mind of where I was going. I wanted to go to Down East for a dress. And walked up to the door at 701 and the cute girl was locking the door and I was just like oh dang it <laughs> and went to walk off and she hurried and opened it she's like come in come in <sighs> you guys people are so good people are so kind I, I went as quickly as I could I was probably I probably only I grabbed the second dress I saw because I felt bad um I didn't want to make her stay after I don't know seven is when she gets off work so I wanted her to get off work so I quickly grabbed a dress I told her I was sorry like 10 times, told her thank you so, so much. She was the kindest lady. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. Kind people can make the biggest difference, you guys. And even if you're having a hard day, try to be kind to the next person you come in contact with because it really, really can make the biggest difference. It can be like a pebble thrown in the ocean. It can just ripple out and that kindness and that positivity just spreads. It's incredible. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to the sweet lady working at Down East. I got a dress. I obviously didn't have time to try it on because I was trying to get out of there as fast as I could. So fingers crossed it fits. And guys, I'm just feeling so grateful. You guys, there are just kind people everywhere tonight and I am dying laughing. I just stopped at Taco Bell for dinner because it's a Taco Bell for dinner kind of day. We do not get takeout often, so no shame in this game. But you guys, <laughs> my kids love those cheesy roll-ups at Taco Bell and I have five kids and some of them eat bear. two. Make a, make a gummy bear. You got a gummy bear? Awesome. So I ordered eight cheesy roll-ups. And I say eight cheesy roll-ups, ordered the rest of our items. And when I got up there to pay the sweet guy at the window, he opened it. And he said, um, I just wanted to clarify. Did you say eight cheesy roll-ups or a cheesy roll-up? <laughs> I said, I said eight. I know it sounds like a lot, but five kids, some of them eat too. Eight cheesy roll-ups. I just thought it was really funny. I wanted to document it because every time I order that, they say something like, wait, how many? And I'm like, yes, eight. <laughs> There's a lot of us. Hey, did we make it? What? Wow. There's a bug in there? No. We're home. We are home. We are home. 
the guy at Taco Bell thought it was crazy that I was ordering eight cheesy yeah. roll-ups. <laughs> um, how was your day? It was hot and long. Hot and long. It's been crazy. Probably. Yeah. Got some shopping done, I see. Yeah. Got the grandpa Father's Day gift. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. This beautiful bush is making me so happy today. Look how full it is of roses. This side is a little dead because the sun just bakes that side, but look how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. are over there on the trampoline fighting bugs <laughs> trying to swat the moths out of this out of the air I'm feeling a little self-conscious about everything I shared earlier and I know I shouldn't but it really is scary to get that vulnerable with people but I really do hope that I can help someone and I I promised when we started this thing that I would be real and authentic in myself so I'm trying to stay true to that but I know some things deserve to be kept private. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for letting me pour my heart out today. What are you doing? Whoa. You big bug. Guys, I am so pooped. I've been outside all day. As you can tell by my awesome farmer's tan here. We've got a long fun day tomorrow. We do. We're shooting a wedding. I'm doing photos. She's doing video. It's going to be an all day thing though. So we're going to leave our house at like 8 and then the reception gets done at 10 p.m. So it's going to be a long day. Yep. Full day of shooting wedding stuff. So I'm kind of excited though just to like hang yeah. out with you most you know of the day. What we what? We should maybe do like an updated Q&A that we can film in the car as we're driving back and forth to locations. I don't know. Make it interesting. Yeah. So, we have got to hit the hay. But so I, tired. I just have to say how dang grateful I am for kind people today. It was kind of a rough day, you guys, but then kind people, they just make all the difference. So, be kind today. Yeah. To everyone that you come in contact with. Even if you're feeling down and you're not feeling great. Yep. Smile. Be kind. Doing good always brings good. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. So, so much. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh, my kid's skateboard glowing. That's awesome. Yeah. Is that his skateboard glowing? Yeah.